Uh, so thank you, Tom. Uh, I appreciate your kind comments. We do go way, way back, and uh, I think so far back we'd be referred to as industry veterans at this point. Uh, but it's very nice to see you and KBW doing so well these days. Um, I also wanted to thank all of our friends in the room uh, who joined us tonight to help celebrate. Um, I, it's really very deeply appreciated uh, for me and my colleagues, um, and I want to thank everybody for hanging in there. I know it's late, and I promise to try to be brief. Um, I'd like to cover three perspectives about social responsibility, um, and I think that'll give you a sense of why this award means so much to me and also uh, to Citizens Bank. Uh, the first is my perspective as a person who deeply appreciates and admires the work of the Foreign Policy Association. Uh, as we've heard tonight, the FPA works relentlessly to raise awareness of key issues that can be addressed through the right foreign policy. An important mission and this distinguished institution has been at it for almost 100 years. Being part of this organization demonstrates a personal commitment for helping to make the world a better place. My sincere thanks go to Noel and Jillian uh, for recognizing me and the citizens team. I'd also like to congratulate tonight's other honorees, uh, very well deserved. Of course, as everyone who stood up here tonight has noted, uh, those individual honors are born uh, from the work of larger teams. And that brings me to my second perspective as the CEO of Citizens Financial Group. I learned that soon after joining Citizens uh, that the concept of corporate social responsibility runs deeply through the veins of our organization. It's brought to life through our focus on what we've referred to as the three C's, uh, customers, colleagues, and community. On the customer front, we've introduced products that help address real challenges that have been raised by our customers. Uh, one quick example, everyone knows that student loan debt is a major issue. More than 40% of U.S. households have a student loan to pay off. In many cases, the monthly payments are very onerous, and they make graduates wonder whether, whether getting a degree was worth it at all. Last year, we launched an education refinance loan, the first of its kind in the nation, uh, to help ease that burden. Customers can use our loan to refinance both private and government uh, student debt at attractive terms and rates, uh, and that often leads to very large monthly savings. It's just one way that we're helping our customers to bank better. We know when we stay focused on our customers and that we offer a differentiated experience, uh, we improve our performance. Uh, and the better we perform, the more we can do for all our shareholders. Uh, it's really a virtuous circle. We've made good progress at this, uh, which is why Money Magazine named us one of the best banks in America for the second year running. On the second C, colleagues, we're very committed to giving our colleagues opportunities to grow and we want citizens to be known as a great place to work and build a career. Our colleagues are responding very well. Uh, we completed the IPO, uh, which Tom referred to, biggest commercial bank IPO in U.S. history. Uh, we've also executed very well on many other major initiatives uh, as we work towards becoming a top performing regional bank. Now our colleagues also lead the way when it comes to giving back to the third C, the community. They volunteer in big numbers, 59,000 hours last year. We combine these volunteer contributions with both financial support and leadership. Last year, we contributed over $15 million to community activities, and roughly 450 of our leaders serve on community and charitable boards. Uh, these are really standout numbers. We focus on the key four areas that Tom referred to, uh, in order to uh, show that deep commitment to make the communities uh, better places in which to work, live, and play in. And this really galvanizes our people. Delivering on this three C's agenda, happy customers, engaged colleagues, and thriving communities is what society wants from banks, and it, what, and it is what makes banks successful. Uh, and we at Citizens aim to be a leader on this agenda. Now, it's been a true pleasure uh, to work with Citizens Team after spending four years 
keeping an eye on them from afar when I was serving as the CFO of RBS Group. Uh, that ties into my third perspective, that of someone deeply involved in perhaps one of the biggest corporate social responsibility projects in UK history. Of course, I'm referring to efforts to stabilize RBS after it was severely buffeted by the financial crisis. Stephen Hester, RBS's CEO at the time, called it the biggest turnaround on the planet when he asked me to join him to help right the ship. I accepted his offer because it was a big challenge and I thought it was a worthwhile and responsible thing to do. Um, RBS was one of the biggest banks in the world at that point. Uh, its colossal failure had required the UK government to infuse the equivalent of about $70 billion to rescue it. Getting it back quickly to safety and soundness was important to the UK economy and more broadly to the interconnected global economy. Uh, and I felt I had the background and experience to take it on. Uh, and I shouldered a big responsibility actually once I got there. But I'd say over five years, we did a pretty good job of getting RBS back in shape. We shed nearly $600 billion or 40% of our funded uh, assets. We improved the capital and liquidity and funding position of RBS, uh, and we also reduce sprawl and complexity. Uh, Ross McEwen is now leading RBS through its next phase, which is narrowing its business focus to be more UK-centric and making sure it's serving customers well and it's contributing positively to the well-being of the UK economy. Now, I saw and learned a lot at what they call across the pond, uh, and it really was a great experience. One of the keys is, that positive, is the positive outcomes we were able to deliver when the bank's board and management worked together with regulators and the share owner to deliver a properly focused, safe, and well-managed institution. I also saw how the US and the UK regulators worked closely together to raise global standards for banks in order to lessen the chance of the next financial crisis. This is another example of the US and UK special relationship uh, in action. Uh, so to close, working on banking today has never been more interesting and invigorating. Banks have a special opportunity to do a great deal of good uh, for a wide range of people. That's what drives me every day, and I know that's what drives our team at Citizens. Uh, so thank you for recognizing our contributions, and we will continue to strive to live up to this honor. Thank you. Thank you.